Good evening, friends. I hope you're all doing well. I'm also fine. Today, I'm going to show you how you can uh, install Composer in AWS EC2. So let's get started. Uh, so I am in my EC2 dashboard, and then I'm going to launch a new instance. The instance will be based on Amazon Linux too, because uh, that is the most stable version so far we have used. There's a new version available, which is uh, Amazon Linux 2023, but at this moment, you're not going to use that because that is quite new and not all features are supported. So, Composer, I'm going to install and then I'm going to Composer. And from this drop down list, I'm going to press Amazon Linux 2 because that's the most stable version. After that, um, I'm going to choose T2 micro. That's okay. I um, for the time being. We are just going to use one of the existing three pairs that I have. I also have some existing security groups, which I'm going to use. So that is also fine. Next, I'm going to choose an IAN role. So this is required for uh, connecting your instance via the uh, console. Looks good. Now I'm going to launch. This might take around one or two minutes. So uh and have a tea or coffee when uh, come back after five minutes, you will see that everything is up and running. Up and running by I mean that your server is up and running. Then we can install all the commands that we are going to run. So basically, uh, I have a blog where I have described everything. You can just copy paste the commands that should do the job. First, we are going to update the uh, YAM packages. And then after that, we are going to install PHP 8, then some extensions. Then we are going to install Composer. And then we are going to uh, Composer require AWS SDK PHP, which is a uh, PHP version of the AWS SDK. So that being said, let's uh, let's refresh one more time. My internet is very bad today. I don't know why. It's almost there. Um, let's go to the details and let's click on the connect button. That's good. I'm going to connect to the instance. And then we are going to run the commands. So pretty simple. No, nothing very special or something. You can just move the copy paste. Everything will work smoothly. I hope because if you're seeing this like one or two years later, maybe this is not working because there's a new version available. But now, if you are still watching in 2023, June 14, I hope you will get this working. Okay, I'm going to take root privilege, sudo so sim. Then I'm just going to paste it. Okay, uh, this is updating the YAM packages, and then I'm going to just uh, copy the whole command. Um, I'm installing a couple of new extensions because this is for just testing. If you need more extensions, just just add those. So there is uh, just it depends on what your project is. So if you need XML or something else, GD library, then you just add those. That's it. Nothing else. So that being said, I'm just creating my screen and then I'm going to paste it. And let's see if this is going to fine. Looks like all are doing well, PHP 8.0. So at this moment, I'm going to install PHP 8.0. Maybe in later version, we have the latest PHP. You can just change this section. So like 8.1, currently 8.1 is also available. So you can put 8.1, when 8.2 is available, you can do 8.2 and etc. Okay, now here comes the most important part. So we are just going to run these commands. Okay. 
I'm just going to go to uh like only easy to use because there is the uh most uh used place for installing this. Okay, so <clears throat> Uh, this installs the composer and also sets up the uh, like symbolic links to the composer. So then what we need to do is like uh, copy this and just go to create a new folder. Uh, AWS SDK. So let's say this is the my project name, AWS SDK. And I go to the details and then I run the composer uh, the command. Okay. This will create a JSON file if it's not there. If it's there, then it will just update the JSON file. So looks good. All okay. Now let's clear the screen. Run an ls. Ls LA. Let's see what has been done. So you see computer JSON, composer.log, and there's a vendor folder. If I go to the details of the vendor, I might see that uh yeah, there are some auto loaded PHP, WSP in composer, blah blah blah. All those things that is required, it's now added here. That being said, uh, that's it for our uh, example. If we see this version, there is 8.0, so that's all looks good. Now you can do anything you want. The composer is there. You can just run composer, uh, and then you can run composer install, maybe update. If you have ex existing computer, composer.json file, then you can run composer.install. That's that's all we Good. I've given the commands here. You can just uh, copy paste it and then the command. And this is also for installing the AWS SDK. That being said, I hope you like this video. If you like, please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. And uh, let me go Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.